In this lesson, we're going to start speaking about Venn diagrams. So, let's say we have a particular sample space. Now, what does that even mean? Well, when they say sample space, they're just trying to show you what numbers we have available to use. Now, event A is prime numbers. Event B is even numbers. Show the above events graphically. Now, what you could potentially want to do is you could make a circle over here and a circle over here. And we could call this event A and we could call this event B. Now for event A, all the prime numbers. Well, prime numbers would be the numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, and that's all. So we can put those over here, 2, 3, 5, and 7. Then for event B, those are your even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So 2, 4, actually we don't have to put the commas like that. And then we're done. But, guys, what we need to realize is that there are some numbers that are in both. Have a look at the 2 and have a look at the 2. So we can fix that up. What we can do is we can rather draw it like this. We can make the two circles intersect and the parts that are in both circles can just go over there. And then event A will just have its 3, 5 and 7 and then event B will just have its 4, 6, 8 and 10. And that's it. This is what we call a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is just a way to show things using circles. Now let's talk about a few interesting things that your teacher has most likely mentioned. Words such as mutually exclusive, exhaustive. Yeah, let's talk about those for now. Then something I forgot is that we need to put a big box around the outside because some numbers haven't been used. Two's been used, three's been used, four's been used, five's been used, six, seven, eight, the numbers 9 and 1, however, have not been used, so they got to go somewhere, they go there. So, mutually exclusive. What that means is if your two circles ended up looking like that, then that is called mutually exclusive. Pretty much what it means in everyday language is that these two circles don't have anything in common. For example, this two is in both. That's why they are linked up. But if they're not linked up, then we call it mutually exclusive. Exhaustive. Okay, now when you think of exhaustive, exhaustive means that all of these values went into the circles. Well, did they? No, they didn't because number one and number nine didn't get used up. Okay, so these two events, A and B, are not exhaustive and they are also not mutually exclusive. So A and B are not mutually exclusive because if they were they would look like these two guys over here, those two circles, so that's they're not mutually exclusive and then they're also not exhaustive because if they were everything would be on the inside of the circles. A and B are not exclusive. Exhaustive. And then your teacher might have spoken about the word complementary. Now, complementary, if two events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive, then we will say that they are complementary. So that's mutually exclusive, meaning that the circles don't touch each other, and exhaustive, meaning that everything fits into the circles. If, both, if they have both of them, then we will say complementary. So if we're at these two events over here, events A and B, would these two events be exhaustive? Well, exhaustive means that all the values are in the circles. Well, yes, they are, because we can't see anything on the outside over here, so they are exhaustive, so we'll give them a nice green tick. Are they mutually exclusive? Well, yes, because mutually exclusive means that the two circles don't intersect. And so, yes, they are. So, because both of those are work, we can say that they are complementary. Okay, so events A and B are complementary. So if we look at these two things over here, event A is all the odd numbers and event B is all the even numbers, represent the above on a Venn diagram. Okay, so a Venn diagram looks like this. Well, we know that it's got a box. And it's going to have two circles. Why? Because it's got two events. But now I don't know if I should make them like intersect or if I should keep them separate like that. 
Well, it's quite easy. The one is odd numbers and the other one is even numbers. So they're not going to intersect. They're definitely going to be separate. Okay, so event A, event B, event A is all the odd numbers. Okay, so if you don't mind just sitting here for a few hours while I write out all the odd numbers that we have in our number universe. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. And a few hours later, I'd probably get to a million and one. However, something's missing because clearly we could go on with this forever. The sample space. So the sample space tells you what numbers you have available to choose from. So let's say we're going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So these are the only numbers we can choose from. Okay, so odd numbers will just be 1, 3, and 5. 1, 3, and 5. And then your even numbers will be 2, 4, and 6. 2, 4, and 6. Okay, so are these mutually exclusive? That means do the circles cut into each other or not? Well, they do not touch each other, so they are mutually exclusive. They are excluded from each other. Are they exhaustive? Exhaustive means that everything inside here must be in one of the circles. It can't be somewhere on the outside over here. So yes, all of the data has been used, so we can say that they are exhaustive. And so are they complementary? Well, yes, they are. Why? Because they are mutually exclusive and they are exhaustive.